Hey guys, Luke from A7A67C here, giving you a rundown of the Quebec Competition Spin Up 2022 to 2023 game manual and the rules for this season. First off, we're going to be looking at the field, right? So, as usual, it's 12 by 12, and then we also have a red versus blue 2v2, and we have 15 second Auton, like usual, 145 uh, for driver control. This is, of course, for high school, college is different, so I won't be going into that, but for this, we have the net on the side uh, for catching you know, discs that might fly out, and the tall goals, right, which grants you quite a lot of points if your bot throws the discs into them, or and then the bottom logo, which uh, gives your oppo opponents the points. So here, taking a look at this, you have also rollers, four rollers entirely, so two rollers per alliance, and then 60 total uh, discs throughout the field, and then there's eight preloads, which so it's basically four every single team. Or no, no, sorry, two every single team and four every alliance. So, um, and the good thing about that is because of the auton to win and win point for the auton, you need to to roll both your alliance uh, home uh, rollers plus throw two discs into your alliance goal tall goal, which could be quite challenging in the beginning. But if you and your teammate work well and both just get one and toss one in. Or maybe you can just throw both of your preloads in. Then, yeah, you can be guaranteed a win point. And then, yeah, and then you have 60 total rings, um, set, uh, seven match loads for each team, so 14 match loads in total, uh, 36 rings on the field in the beginning, and then four for each alliance, or eight for the, uh, the preload. And then here's the... Uh, arrangements for for the goals and next you have some other stuff sg2 sg3 and sg4 uh, looking at robux robots only get two preloads you know stay away from the nets uh so yeah just keep careful of the net and then um of course being like what do you call it? being you know if you're driving and stuff don't get or if you're like part of the team don't get too um like i don't know excited and do yeah, don't yeah just don't touch the net um such as like last season, don't put your hands on, like not on the field, but like, you know, like in the air of the field even. And then here you have uh, a horizontal expansion, you know, only 18 by 18 until the uh, end game, which is 10 seconds, last 10 seconds. So 18 by 18 until then. Um, and then the vertical expansion is limited. So you're only allowed to uh, extend to, to, to a height of 24 inches, which is exactly one inch short of being able to place the rings directly into the goal which kind of sucks but um you know gonna make it fair and then yeah match little discs may be stiffly introduced during the match under certain conditions oh let's skip that one for now and here's how to how to put in the discs as you can see in figure 22 um of course, this is one of this is a really important one, super important here. Uh, possession is limited to only three discs, so every robot can only carry three discs at once, no more. So this will be changing a lot of like play styles because if you can hoard, they just grab a bunch and then you just after after you clean up the entire field, you sit there and you just start throwing. But like it's different now, only three, which means a lot of times you'll be having to run around while shooting and while collecting, you know, to get the most. Um, discs and of course the path will be also be very important plus precise shooting while moving and at like all angles and all uh, ranges don't cross the atom don't cross the autonomous 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 something line which is uh, a diagonal line uh, if hopefully you can remember I don't know if I'll put an image up I mean I will I guess uh, keep discs into the field don't remember yeah, don't remove discs you can't intentionally throw discs out with your robots and yeah and next we'll be looking at some of the game items that's just for the season so but of course i strongly suggest everybody to like take a look at this in real life to get an actual you know good understanding of how big they are and stuff so first of all we have the barriers this is a triangle that is facing out like a right triangle that's facing outwards so so that's discs can't be pushed directly in so 
Um, you can't just have a push bot and just start pushing discs into the opposing uh, side alliance's bottom goal, which just gives you points, by the way. So that's kind of um, out of the you know, out of the question here. And but the thing is, you can push discs out pretty easily because it's facing outwards. So there's a ram facing outwards, and um, of course uh, you have the yellow discs with a di diameter of uh, 140 millimeters, thickness of 20 millimeters, and a weight of 65 grams plus 20. I don't know. Well, and of course you have the high goals too. Here is this blue one and a red one for each alliance. Um, you get the low goal, which is the place where under your alliance where the opposing side can score points or under their alliance where you can score points. And then you have the loader, which there's only two of them, one for each alliance. And from now on, you can only put the uh, pre match loads directly through the loader, nowhere else. And then um, you have a net, nylon mesh net, pretty cool, pretty cool. And then of course you have the roller giving you 10 points for each one rolled, which is quite high, 20 points. And then here we have, it's a PVC pipe, 250 millimeters long and 60, around 60 in diameter. This, um, my field was quite hard to roll, so it's not as spinny as you think. So, and here's the scoring. Uh, every disc scored in the high goal, five points, quite a lot. So two of them is enough for to cover up for a roller getting taken away. And each disc scored a logo is only one point, so that's one fifth. So, you know, quite a difference there. Each own roller, 10 points, as I said. Each covered tile at the end of the game. So at the very last 10 seconds, no expansion, no, ho no horizontal expansion limit anymore. Your robot can expand as far as it wants. And every single covered tile is three points, which is quite a lot if you think of it. And then the winner of a Thomas bonus also gets a nice, a pretty decent 10 points. Next up, we have some advanced scoring, right? So as you can see here, there's you know, a bunch of discs just randomly like, lodged in random places. In figure 13, all these discs would actually be scored and would be worth a combined um, 35 points, which is quite, quite a lot of points. And then down here though, uh, here's, here's where it gets interesting because um, only, only disc A would be actually scored because disc B is actually touching the support beams and if it's if the disc is touching the support beam then it is not going to be scored so you got to be careful with that next we have the scoring of discs for the low platform or just the floor in the area uh, here as you can see if the entire disc is touching the pop, uh, touching the base inside that area of course then it is in the area and it counts as one point but if one side is in and one side is out, then it counts for zero points. But then if one side is in and the other is touching something else, such as like the wall, the robot, or the heat, or this side thing here, it still counts. Even touching a, another disc and be levered upwards would still have it count. But, if, but a disc on a robot in the area would not count. And next up, we have the rollers. Of course, these will be a lot easier to understand if you see them in person, but here I'm just gonna give you a rundown of them again. For the rollers, you have these two sides here showing that whatever color is inside and between them is the possessing team's color. It has to be fully covered, completely fully covered by the possessing team's color for it to actually count for 10 points. This is count for zero points for either team. Next step, we have what um, a lot of people are thinking could be quite confusing, the tile scoring for the last 10 seconds. So here looking, this is the blue side, um, and here's here's what the red side looks like. So these, as you can see, this robot is, if you look closely enough, this robot is on top of four tiles. So all four of these are counting for blue. And then this right here is still going forward and extending over the, this one, which is also counting for more points. And for the red side, not looking so good. Um, this is uh, only one, it's only, only this side is touching. So this is kind of like the discs. So if, if it's only touching the, what do you call it? It's only touching this this one tile. So then this will be, this will be counted. And then this one, it's only touching one as well. So only this one be counted too. And of course, safety comes first. So S1, S2, and S3, know them well. And now taking a look at some rules. Here's where it gets interesting. Um, of course, you have the no pinning, where no trapping for five seconds. 
Uh, don't clamp your robot onto the field. And use discs to play the game. <laughs> so here we have the rules. And um, looks like here is just the starting match. Uh, usually it's just like the Auton rules and just you know initializing the match. I mean, not initializing, but starting the match rules. Um, here we have, uh, you must start you know, within the area, of course. And there is no, you can't, you can't have your robot out here t touching any of these discs. Can't be touching your home tiles. And then the other tiles too, you can't be t t touching any of them. You also can't be touching any other uh, discs, such as like these ones right here. And then you have, um, you can only have two preloads. So even though your entire alliance is four, you can only have two, no more than two in your robot. And uh, there is, you have to be start, started within the required starting volume, which is which is G4 uh, of 18 inches, 18 by 18, just like last year. And I think that's about it. For the rest of this, it's mainly just um, allowing like what parts are, are you allowed to use and stuff. And yeah, so, and like tape and all that stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching.